Hello everyone, Venris here and we have a very short video today because there are two really things that I would like to talk about very fast according to the based on Scorched F SFO update that was just released on last Friday. I hope you are having a lot of fun with it because we are get there gathering a lot of feedback from you also but there are two things that i want to speak about it seems that many of you have problems with launching the mod and i will tell you today what are the best ways to make the mod working right now because very important thing is right now that 90 percent of bug reports in sfo are not caused by SFO, but the fact that the game is not properly downloaded or the mod is not properly downloaded, and I will show you how. The first thing that you always should do when the, such a big update is update, being uploaded, you should unsubscribe to the mod, like fully unsubscribe to the mod when you do it on the Steam page, then go into your game, look on the mod manager, SFO is not there, then it's fine. Go back to Steam page and subscribe to the mod and enable the game only when you see that the mod is properly downloaded. Yeah, what do, I, what do I mean? That you can enable it. You cannot enable the mods that are not downloaded. The second way that is quite important also is that you should verify your game files. So you go into properties of your game installed files and verify integrity of game files even ca hotfixes can jeopardize the integrity of your files sorry <laughs> so be sure to check this out also if you do those two steps and you're launching only sfo everything will be working very very smoothly also the next topic that I wanted to talk about are the bugs. We have tons of reports of bugs and 90% of those reports are either mod conflicts or are not related to SFO because they are vanilla. <laughs> but we are also aware that there are some bugs right now in SFO and right now at a moment when this video is being released you can see a new hotfix being released for scorched earth there are, there are many small hit fixes here and there and we are reading every comment every feedback and at this moment of recording this uh, uploading this video <laughs> everything that was re reported we fixed and there is part of this hotfixes as you can see there are there are many broken unit models right now in the game like miners we fix those but like dragon guard for cafe goblin hewers not showing properly those are vanilla problems right now and we are hoping for ca to fix those in the next hotfix yeah master engineer restock ability is bug what was a sfo thing missing attributes also bug thunder barge underperforming not anymore missing units when you upgrade higher vanilla bug we fixing it multiple effects ui bugs uh, fixed some new traits didn't have the proper values or the effects text at all yeah bombardment change cooldown change to one second from 10 to for helicopter units missing traits for demon prince also was fixed because they were using the old one uh, Silax Lulu Belly, so Patriarch ability received magic resistance because self healing was not working. We don't know why, we're still checking it. Nurgul stuns debuff cheese. Yeah, you can cheese it, not anymore. <laughs> Nurgul Gunnery School upgrades values were fixed because they were uh, linking to inappropriate um, uh, projectiles tables and you were nerfing your units by upgrades. This is fixed. Sacrifices of Sotex, double text. That was also fixed. Imperial Diplomacy penalty was fixed. I don't know why it was so high. It had to be some reminiscence of old stuff. was uh, also halved. Uh, Norgul Corruption Recruitment cost also fixed. There was a wrong scope here. Ogre Campaign effects affecting camps also fixed. This is a technology effect. Black Orcs with Shield color fixed. They were colorful. They are not colorful anymore. Theodore Buckner unlocks condition change to 500 kills by your cavalry, not 1000. Yeah. So again, way 
easier to get here. Yeah? Celestian defender skills bugs were fixed. This is a default thing. Missing traits for Boris Tonbriggen and Red Duke were also fixed. They have their own starting traits that we did for this update and they are there. And new factions receive some ROR units sooner than the rest of the factions in the mode. As you remember, in the past we made that several factions, all factions getting their uh, like the iconic ROR unit sooner, yeah. So Carl Franz get can uh, the Rakes Guard sooner and so on and so on. So those are fixed. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, you're seeing this video that this was just uploaded. Remember about the tips that I was saying. If you have any problems, please always check them with SFO only first. And yeah, uh, I was Venris. Remember to feed the YouTube algorithm. If you really like, you can also check uh, our game, Whispers of the Eyeless. Right now it's on Steam. And uh, what can I say? There is a demo. There is a demo and also Kickstarter campaign. That is link in description of the video. Have fun, everyone. I was Venris and I'm out. Bye.